Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Now today I went to my local park and you can see I filmed some little ducks. And what I did was I filmed quite a few birds so that we'll put them for the different groups. So group number one, ducks, this is your bird, group number one. So here we've got a mama duck and she's got a couple little babies that are going to come afterwards. She had four in total. They were very cute. Now ducks are known for nurturing, protection and love. Okay, group number two, we have the galah. So the galah is a beautiful pink bird and the galah is known for seeking expression. They're known for their humor as well as empathy. And group number three, the king parrot. So it's a beautiful bright red strong bird that is known for having a real sense of knowing when to speak. It's also about new growth and breakthroughs. So those are your groups. I will see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. You chose the video clip of the ducks. So I was in my local park and I just took my camera because there's this um, kind of like couple duck that have been in the park for oh, the last couple of months. And I knew because spring is coming, I knew that they're gonna have little, little ones running around and they do. So I went to film them and and I managed to find all these other birds and I just thought, hey, why don't I put it in the reading? So you've got this first card here, self-acceptance. By the way, this comes from a new deck, which, hang on, let me see what it's called. It's called, yes, Earth Wisdom Oracle. This is really, really good. And I got this courtesy of one of you. So thank you so much um, to the lovely viewer who made this deck possible. Uh, so yes, self-acceptance. Here we go. Um, the next oracle card we have is this one, occupation. Okay. Then we have this one, first quarter. Even though that's really a half, but that's okay. <laughs> it says here, uh, making decisions, obstacles, taking action, momentum. Okay. For tarot, you have got the Knight of Pentacles upright. And it's so amazing because I saw this at the bottom of the deck and then look at that it's come out because i shuffle really really well and then it came out and it came out exactly upright and i saw it at the bottom just happened to see it so it's come twice in a way we've got the tower upright this is really quite a lovely tower because she seems to be fully embracing the moment the tower moment right she's she's on board it seems I don't know if you can hear that. Is that a crow outside? We've got some very noisy birds. I've been hearing baby magpies all day as well. Uh, page of Wands. Beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got going on here. I think you've been incredibly busy. I think you've been working really, really hard. And let's have a look at this hard work of yours. I mean, You've been working steadily and hard over a very long period of time. Look at what this man is making. It seems like he's made this. He's kind of created um, this incredible structure. Maybe he's climbing it. This is interesting. Is he climbing it? Did he make it? It's so interesting. I kind of got the impression that he made this. But maybe he's climbing it. 
any which way, there's a number nine here. And a number nine, this is like kind of towards the end of an incredibly long journey. You have been working so hard. This to me, and I mean, look, he's, he's, he's reaching the top as well. Okay, so if he's cl just climbing this, he is reaching the top. He's just about there. If he has made this, that's extraordinary. But the reason I got this impression that he's made this is because of these two cards. You are working incredibly, incredibly hard. And yes, this is to do with your work. This is to do with your occupation. You've been very steady. You've been slow and steady. That is very much what's here. You've been slow and steady. Slow and steady definitely wins the race. So keep doing what you're doing. I kind of feel like you're on the brink of a massive completion. Okay, so there's something new that's definitely going to come in. And look at the newness. You've got a first quarter here and you've got a page of wands. So this is you tapping into something absolutely brand new this is an, a brand new chapter opening in your life i think that's what i should say there's something absolutely new okay and th these two really sit separately because there's something so new coming in and i think you're going to love it and i think it's going to be so worthwhile because you've built yourself up steadily over a very long period of time so there is a tower moment coming in. There is a shakeup. There is going to be change. But I also get the sense that this card has come through this deck, which I consider my sun deck. Uh, this is my Saturn deck, right? And this is my sun deck. And the depiction of this is so lovely. It's not like other tower cards. Other tower cards is kind of there's trauma, there's fire, there's chaos, there's, you know, it's, it's really bad. Whereas this person here is embracing the change. And this is because of this. You've matured and grown so much. You've come to really accept yourself that now when these tower moments happen, they're almost, I don't want to say enjoyable, but they're almost easy kind of. And I think because there's a huge amount of maturity here. It's really, really wonderful. You've reached an incredible place. And I think that this tower moment is going to open you up to maybe you want um, that family sort of life or you, or you want to change your life. You, you don't want work to be the only thing in your life. I think you want more love. I think you want more nurturing, more protecting. You want change and you're embracing the change. You're embracing what needs to crumble, the, the structures that need to crumble within your own life. You're embracing that. You're going, Do you know what? I'm ready because I have done this. And wow, have you done this? Like you're, there's something very seasoned here or, you know, yeah, you're at the, you're at the top virtually. Uh, of an incredible career and you've been going slow and steady for a long time right so I don't know yeah quite who's here I you know me when I was in the corporate world I certainly never had anything where I was in one job for 10 years but that's the feeling I'm getting here you know me I chopped and changed pretty quickly but um, this is no you, you've been doing something for a very long time but equally, I feel like you've, come, you've reached this level of maturity and self-acceptance. You're at the top. You know this journey. You know this game. You're ready for the change now. And you're ready to take a brand new chapter. It is so exciting. There's going to be... And this new chapter, is, I think it's going to be really creative for you. I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to have fun. I think you're going to have adventures. It's going to be new. It's going to be different. It's going to challenge you, whatever this new chapter is. I think it will be very different from what this has been, but it also needs to be because you need to grow, you know, and you can't just keep doing the same thing or, or, or you know, and because you, I think you've done this to a great degree of, of satisfaction, achievement, a high level of achievement here. Uh, you know, and, and you've been slow and steady and that's been incredibly wise. That's been a really, really good thing. 
let's take a look and see what quote you're going to get from Rumi. Okay, so I've got three. I've got only three quotes in here, but they're kind of long quotes and they're all beautiful. And I'll put the link where I got the quotes from today. All right, I'm going to pick that one. That's the one that we get. Let's see what it is. I'm very excited to see what this is. Okay, so it says, oh wow, yes, oh I love this. Tear through the cloud of body. You are the magnificent moon. You are like a hawk whose feet are bound, tethered to the body. It is with your own claws that you must untie the knots. How incredible. I love this part of that poem. It's so stunning. And what I love about it is he's, what, what Rumi is asking you to do is he's asking you to do this. And look at that. Look at how she is, she's hands on with this towel moment. She is, you see, it says here, it is with your own claws that you must untie the knots. So a way of looking at this piece of poetry is to say, so you are the magnificent moon, you are the bright light that shines, all right? The body is just, um, it's the clouds, it, it tethers you, in fact, you are bound. You know, when Emmanuel, and Emmanuel is a channeled entity that Ram Dass used to listen to, and when Ram Dass would ask Emmanuel, what is death like? Emmanuel would say, it's like taking off a tight shoe, right? So, so that, I'm being reminded of that here. The other thing here that I absolutely love, my favorite bit of this is, it says, it is with your own claws that you must untie the knots. So when we engage in spiritual teachings and when we engage in readings like this and we're seeking spiritual wisdom and we're doing all of that, what we are actually doing is we are using our own mind to dismantle mind, okay? Because ego is mind. Ego is thought energy, ego is mind. And when we engage in spiritual teachings, we are using thought energy. We are using the mind, but we're using the mind to kind of uh, untangle ourselves from the mind. Isn't that incredible? And that's, that's what you're doing. And I feel like, you're going to be great at that and th that's what this card is all about this card is is very much about dismantle anything that is holding you back anything where you feel bound anything where you feel tethered if you're feeling and if this has at times and at times this would have there's some saturn energy coming through here as well i'm sure you have felt limited and bound and um you know stuck but the thing is the beautiful thing is that through that you've actually come to self-acceptance and you've climbed a very high mountain you have achieved a lot you've actually done very well so i hope you're giving yourself some credit for that but it's now coming time and i think you're recognizing that it's very much coming time for you to shake it up to dismantle something to let go of something and this is really asking you to fly, you know? It's quite incredible. This is a really beautiful reading, guys. Love the energy that's here. And I think this new chapter is going to be, you're gonna be able to shine like you've, you've never done before. So you're gonna be that magnificent moon in this new chapter. It's, it's, it's really quite incredible. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading today. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading. I'd love to hear from you. I'm a little bit behind uh, on comments and emails, but I read everything and I will certainly get back to you um, as and when I can. So thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place and you would have come here either by number two or maybe you saw the little video of the gala that I filmed at the park earlier today. I had no idea I was gonna do this. I didn't know I was gonna do the whole like video different animals because I really just went to see the ducks. I just went to see have the duck babies arrived and they certainly have, they are so cute. Love going and filming ducks for some, bizarre reason it's because they're just really sweet okay now uh let's 
go through these I want to bring up the oracle cards first oh wow look at this your first oracle card is divine love look at that isn't she having a good time I tell you what that's a vision of happiness right there this actually reminds me of my um, I've got a wood in South London that I go to and that's very much like that how amazing because you've got the galah there now oh if you picked the galah you would have picked it because of seeking expression humor and empathy okay I'll try and remember that as we go and your other oracle card oh look at that false person I have never drawn this card from this deck how amazing so we've got some interesting characters showing up already the galah is here there's some humor possibly this is going to be hopefully entertaining <laughs> Uh, all right let's have a look okay what have we got here mercury right mercury is the planet of communication knowledge information curiosity yes yes there's some i remember you group two this is an interesting reading okay we've got uh the four of cups in reverse okay Oh, I love this. The Queen of Wands. Look at that. How beautiful. I love the outfit. These feathers and the sunflower. And all these, what are they, dragonflies? Wow. I think I could stare at this for hours. It's so pretty. It reminds me of my favorite cartoon, Maya the Bee. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's the flowers and the little insects okay ah and you've got the devil in reverse all right i think we had the devil in reverse last week as well didn't we different deck though okay what do we have going on here this is a really interesting spread actually and you know what occurred to me there was a song that came into my mind as i was looking at this just a few minutes ago uh, what was the song? It was Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive. And I actually brought the lyrics up on my laptop. Let me just see if I... The, ly the lyrics that came into my mind were, And so you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. <laughs> right? I don't know why that, that came in. And this gave me a feeling. Now, this could be work-related, but it could also be love-related. I got a feeling that someone might be coming back in okay and this might be i don't know someone you knew someone that perhaps you would have liked to have known but they never revealed their true self to you something along these lines and i do there is there could be a romantic connection here it could be a friend as well but there's some of there and it could be a bit of trickster energy as well okay we do have false person here so you do have to be careful right you know you might not know um, who this person is you might have to be be careful that's true but we do have this galah energy here too and this is a light-hearted energy this is about humor this is about you know um, this is not a serious energy so i'm not sensing any vibe that you need to be concerned or worried or any of that but it does feel like someone is coming back in okay so that could be the case but i kind of feel like you're not going to be hooked into any drama i'm seeing these three as that situation so you're not going to be hooked in there they might want you to give them your attention this could also be somebody at your workplace this could be a competition type situation where you have a competitor at work or someone's trying to draw you in or someone's trying to someone's trying to be like hey give your attention to me whereas you're not quite in that place you're connected to the divine you're looking up but this person is kind of like hey look at me bring your energy horizontal bring it to me bring it to me right and you're like no i'm happy being with the divine my energy is 
vertical, right? You've, you've got your connection and you're very happy. You've worked hard for this. And, you know, I don't think you can be taken off track, really, because I kind of see this as you. And I kind of see these three as the other person. So what's going on here? This is, they're trying to hook you in, they're trying to draw you in, maybe something along these lines. There's also this, which is when this is in the upright position, this is about boredom. You've got these three cups here, but you know, and then the fourth is being presented to you, but you're like, nah, you know, you're just not, you know, you're like, well, what? I don't care. But when this is in the reverse, maybe you do care. You know, and I, and I think that this is, so I don't think you're going to be hooked in to this person in a negative way. What I think is that you might be curious. And I was watching a video today by the lovely Megan Rose. She's a great channeler and she was talking about how to protect oneself psychically and energetically. And she talks about the fact that very often when if we have an energy that's present or something and we are curious you see and that's this mercury card here we've got curiosity here you're curious you're like oh what is this energy i think i know what this is and you want to go and you want to check it out right so and i and what i'm getting with this card is i'm kind of sensing that it's it's okay to go and check it out i think uh you know if you want to but equally I don't think it matters. If somebody really cares, if somebody really wants to contact you or, or be in your space or whatever, they will do so. They will get in touch properly. And you know that because you're this, right? This is your strongest card. This is your absolute best card. Be this, be the queen of wands, be just this, you know, lovely being that you are you're giving you're radiating you're giving out light and energy and all this good stuff keeping you keep shining like the sun keep keep giving out being you okay and if somebody really wants to contact you or any of those things they will do so absolutely they will um, but you don't have to worry kind of thing that's that's what i'm sensing and i'm sensing that i think this is this is all fine. There's nothing like to worry about or, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's all, it's all okay. All right. Let's see what you've got in the jar. Okay. This one just came out straight away, right? Well, there's only two in there. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. All right. Do not turn to look at every beggar, at, at every beggar that beckons. You belong to me. Do not sell yourself short for you are priceless. Ooh, that's so good. That's so good for this group. By the way, I'm sorry, the light has just completely disappeared, hasn't it? I don't know if I should turn a lamp on. Hmm. Well, anyway, maybe I'll be able to do something in editing. Um, this is brilliant. I mean, because this is this, okay? You belong to the divine, right? You've got that beautiful connection. Look at how happy she is. Look at how relaxed she is. She's She's in a space of love. She's happy. She has no need for anything. And I think she is in this space. And this is she or he, right? It doesn't matter. Um, but it's depicted as she here. So she is in this space of being like abundant, like no lack, you know. Do not sell yourself short for you are priceless. Yeah, do not turn to look at every beggar that beckons. How amazing. I'm so amazed that this came for this group. Because look, that that's this what I was saying, that there's someone that's trying to get you to like, you know, like don't don't be so happy in your bubble. Like come over here and you know, it's like come over here and <laughs> let's run a mark or something. I don't know. I mean like um how fascinating. Do not turn to look at every beggar that beckons you belong to me and it take that to be the divine look at that the divine is protecting you the divine look at that divine love you're so protected you belong to me do not sell yourself short for you are priceless absolutely don't give yourself to something that's not you know the right thing for you or you know whatever it is 
Yeah, um, and, and look at that. I mean, the devil's in reverse here, okay? So you're protected. Nothing's going to... Nothing's going to happen. Oh my gosh, the light has just totally disappeared. <gasps> I'm going to have to do something. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn that on. What's that going to do? Oh yeah, that's quite good actually. Oh, I should have done that earlier. It doesn't matter. Well, I'll try to color correct it. But yeah, I mean, look, this is sensational, guys. And I mean... See, I'm kind of seeing that if you are curious, well, what's the harm? You can explore. You can be fearless. There's nothing to... Um, there's nothing to fear. They say there's nothing to fear except fear itself. I, I disagree. I think fear is okay. You know, it's just a feeling. It's just an emotion. We shouldn't even feel fear. <laughs> like fear, fear, fear. Gosh, I can't speak today. All right, well, I, guys, I think this is a beautiful reading, and I'm glad I worked the lighting out in the end as well. So let me know how you get on. I'm really curious to know if this is you. Let me know. Um, if there is somebody that's come in, again, blast from the past, haven't heard from them, whatever, this kind of thing, or some kind of work competition, jealousy, something. I don't know. Someone's trying to, someone's trying to direct your attention. There's something going on. So let me know in the comments below if that is you. I would love to hear from you and how this goes. But otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. Now, if you chose group number three, you would have chosen by watching either by number three, just your regular three person, or you would have watched the intro maybe and seen the king parrot and thought, oh, I like the look of that bird. So welcome if you're here for the king parrot. Now, king parrots are known for knowing when to speak, new growth and breakthroughs. I think that's what I would have said in the introduction. So let's take a look at your cards and see what you pulled through. I'm using a new deck here today, Responsibility. So this was um, gifted to me by one of you lovely people out there. Thank you so much. So kind. It's the Earth Wisdom Oracle deck. Um, so yep, this says 10 Responsibility. Wow. And I hope the new lighting is okay, guys. I just turned the lamp on and it seems to work pretty well. So basically we've got a bit of a storm happening here, a bit of a thunderstorm going on. So that's quite interesting. Oh, look at that. We have a mature woman. Wow. I remember you group there. I kind of thought this was me this time. I don't know. I think that every time you are trying to figure out which one's me, I think this one's me this time. Um... Where's the other oracle card? Oh, there we go. We've got the south node. Gifts and lessons. Beautiful. Yes, gifts, past life gifts. Definitely part of the south node there. Now for tarot, you've got the page of cups. Beautiful card. Oh, look at this. Wow, death. Gosh, the depictions in this deck are just out of this world. I love this. It's a bit spooky, but beautiful as well. It's like, but it's not, some of the death cards are just absolutely, you should see the one in this one. My mom actually, she saw it. She was like, you've got to take that out. She's like, you can't ever let anyone see that. I haven't taken it out though, because you can't do that to shuffle all the cards. My mum doesn't usually watch this far. <laughs> she sometimes watches group one. All right, um, justice. Okay, excellent. So what do we have here? Well, this is a lovely group and this, this really relates into a video I watched by Megan Rose. She's an amazing channeler. And she talked about how the thing to do in life, and she said few people ever do this, but she said is to take full responsibility for all your thoughts and feelings, that it's all you. And I, I, this is why I relate to this group, because I certainly try to do that. How effective am I at it? Well, you know, I'm okay, I think, but <laughs> it could be a lot better. 
but um, you're very much wanting to take responsibility for your your whole life and you're ready to do that okay not many people even make it here okay where you're kind of and that's not something to develop ego about but it, it, it's kind of true a lot of people would rather just blame the outside world would rather blame the government would rather blame another person would rather blame parents would rather blame anyone but look within the self and see okay how is this me it's not easy work to do but it is the spiritual path and you know those who are really on the spiritual path when they say that it is all down to you and it, it, it's people like Louise Hay, Eckhart Tolle, Lester Levinson whom I'm a fan of, um, many great spiritual teachers they are the ones of total responsibility that it's all me so I created my good stuff and I created my bad stuff so if there's something going wrong in my world it's actually because of me because I you know I had created that Lester Levinson's really good because he explains that a lot of this stuff is actually stuff that has been being created like over millions of years so and we have we have millions of thoughts to take responsibility for and it's been generated over millions of years and it's true this is our south node placement this is our Ketu placement this is all the past life stuff you know and over a very long time there's a lot of habits that we we think we just have in this one small life you know habits of whatever these bad habits are maybe we procrastinate or, or as I say we blame or we complain or whatever it is and we think that we're just doing it from this lifetime no we've carried it from possibly thousands of lifetimes so know that if you look at that we've got the king parrot here god this is the group of breakthroughs know that if you achieve the dismantling the successful dismantling of one bad habit that's a massive breakthrough in your life and you are look at that it's death yeah it's the death card is here so it's like you're dismantling an old habit it's not just from this lifetime it's from thousands of millions of lifetimes ago god knows like the successes and things that you achieve in this life and the things that you dismantle the things that you actively dismantle in this life you might think it's just this one small life no you might have been doing it for millions of years thousands of years however long you want to look at that but like yeah it, it, you you bring and the, this is justice but this could also be healing you're by doing this work of dismantling some habit that you want to get rid of and if you successfully do it you will bring healing to people around you they won't know that it was you who helped them like this is all just on that invisible kind of plane right and they, they won't know that their healing is is thanks to you but believe it or not you dis successfully dismantling some habit in your life some negative habit in your life some blockage some something that's in your way you can have so much new growth it's going to be incredible gosh that's yeah really powerful and what I saw with these two was this thing of like this is for your whole life this is look at that here she is the young lady page of cups and this is to do with emotions and here she is the mature woman right so this is your whole life and whether you're and it's so interesting actually that all the characters are female here that's fascinating because in the previous groups I'm pretty sure we had some men present yes we did we had a knight of pentacles in the first group here we've just got all women this is all feminine energy so if you're a man watching this know that that and know that you what you are doing is you are interested in healing your emotional body and you're interested in getting the flow going and you're interested in all of this is going to bring about incredible cosmic justice cosmic healing 
all kinds of powerful things are going to happen around you that you don't want to take credit for, but it might be due to you. It might be due to the work that you're doing. It might be due to the fact that you're taking responsibility, right? You've, you've chosen, you've gone, you know what, I want to take responsibility. I want to heal this. I, I don't, you know, and, and it, whatever it is, whether it's something health related or, and this is what Lester Levinson talks about. He talks about a sick pocketbook. I love that phrase because, you know, yeah, I, I need to um, get better on the whole manifestation thing myself. And yeah, I mean, that's important, right? We need to sort out things. And whatever it is that's your problem, you are demonstrating through this spread I'm getting this phrase you've got the chops like you've got the you know you've got what it takes to do it you've got what it takes to sort it out and to resolve deep-seated old patterns that another person might think it can't be done whereas you're just like I'm gonna do it there's a confidence and a courage here it's really wonderful really impressive well I don't need to shake this because there's just one left let's have a look and see what it is oh I'm so excited what did you get gosh I don't know oh how stunning oh my gosh this is amazing get out this is so good sorry ancient knowingness is yours yes we've got this this is so good these always work out I only wrote three today but there's these work out um this is ancient knowingness is yours look at that we've got the south node here amazing no mine has a jewel like you this world has no life like you for this is the world of decay and you are life-giving life oh my goodness that's this card that is incredible let's read that end bit together with this card for this is the world of decay and you are life-giving life you are look at that you are life giving life you are the life the body decays it really does it's decaying all the time and what's within you is life is blooming it's creativity that's also your fire that's the living i've been thinking about fire a lot lately you see fire is something that is only alive it can't be it's never frozen it's never you can't preserve it you can't and it's so fascinating because all the energies here we do not have we've got well there's a sword there so that would be like air right we've got water cups but we've got this and i'm kind of seeing this i'm seeing the flowers as fire because that's life that's life giving life fire is life fire is alive it can't be stored it can't be you don't you can't have a sculpture of it you can't it's it's only alive i just love thinking about fire because it's that is our life you know wow this is so beautiful I'm loving this spread guys this beautiful energy here there's there's a lot of breakthrough energy and it's kind of I kind of feel like this is big stuff as well I, I, don't, I don't feel like this is um, because it's kind of to do with your whole existence from when you were small to when you're gonna have white hair you know like you're you're taking responsibility you're going I'm in charge I'm in charge I'm not going to outsource my power anymore you know I'm not going to and that includes guides it includes you know systems like astrology right sometimes we outsource our power to a system like astrology you can take your power back from astrology you know you can be like well the astrology says this but I'm going to do this other thing that I really want to do, you know, so take your power back. There's a, there's a real big energy here and it's about, there's, it's about courage. It's about, look at that ancient knowingness is yours. It's about you knowing, it's about you knowing that there is nobody else like you. You're totally unique. 
yeah, and this is the world of decay. You see, out in the external world, and this is, I keep coming to this all the time, and especially as I keep reading Lester Levinson, I keep coming to this thing of, there's nothing of value out there. The only things of value are within, and that's, that's the thing that, that gives life. It's your creativity, your creativity gives life. You creating something new, a new perspective, and you giving that, that's an amazing, beautiful thing. Wow. Guys, I'm so impressed by this reading. Thank you so much for drawing these cards through. It's always, you know, when I draw these cards for myself, it, I, I never get stuff like this. Like, <laughs> you guys draw the best cards. So thank you so much for being here. And... Please let me know how you got on with this reading in the comments below. I would love to hear how it goes for you. So let me know and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.